Morning campers, hope we're all doing fantastically well. It's Connor here. We are back with another video. We have Watford tonight coming to Ellen Road. Listen, I'm not filming on my state-of-the-art camera because it's just going to be a little bit of an update from me. Listen, I wanted to say one thing, a couple of things actually, a little bit like updates on all these sorts of things. So basically, we've got something big coming up very, very soon, of which I keep saying on the channel, but... The reason I'm mentioning this constantly is we have a Snapchat and the reason I'm advertising the Snapchat is you will want to be over there for what I am doing. There's going to be exclusive bits on the Snapchat, blah, 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 blah. So you can follow one leads. That's all it is. One leads on Snapchat, people. Get on over there. We'll be doing some giveaways and prizes in the long term as well. Make sure you do that. Free to sign up. Another thing. That I wanted to stick on here as well, the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon now, link in the description below. But we also now have a WhatsApp group. So literally all the time we've got a WhatsApp group on the Patreon. So basically what that means is throughout the day, we know WhatsApp's exclusive, everybody. Everybody's on it all the time. It's instant messaging. I've built a little community on there now. We've already got loads of members signed up to it on the Patreon. So if you want to sign up to the Patreon, you want to chat to me through the game, even whilst I'm on the watch long tonight, which we will be doing, make sure you sign up to the Patreon, which in fact gives you access to the WhatsApp. Well worth it, everybody. Now, as I sit down and stop waffling, Watford this evening, massive game for Leeds United. As I've mentioned, we are going to be doing a watch along, everybody. Watford's heavy defeat. To Luton at the weekend makes me very, very, very excited for this one. Their away form isn't good. It's not good whatsoever. And I think that with two heavy defeats on the back on the back of each other, six goals conceded for Watford on the road. Cleverly hasn't got it right. He hasn't got it right away from home. And he's struggling to find that consistency off the back of two home wins against Middlesbrough and Sunderland. They just can't get it right away from home. Right now, I think our momentum and confidence is absolutely off the chart. I think Leeds right now is the best I think we've looked in a long time, and that's including last season. The commanding performance against Sheffield United really made me think, wow, Connor, this is a good team. It's a really good team. It's a balanced team. It's an effective team, and it can be a clinical team. We didn't have many chances the other night, but the chances that we did have, we put them away. What else do we have? I hear you cry. Tactical superiority. And why do I say that, everybody? Well, because... With the rumours of Gilavodji coming in, Leeds can go to a midfield three, okay? We can do that if you want a defensive presence in there. For me, you've got to be keeping the midfield two that we have now within that side. However, what I want to say, everybody, is that we have that ability to be flexible. Now, we don't have that many injuries. You've got um, Mano Solomon coming back. You've got Dan James back. We have got the two problems when it comes to those midfield bodies. But Gilavodji coming in, as that free agent is going to definitely aid that. What do we need to look out for tonight, though? Joe Rodon getting another card. Furpo getting another card. That would take them to five yellow cards, meaning that they will be suspended for the Bristol City game. That is not what we want at all, everybody. Now, for me, when you look at this Watford side, their fullbacks are where Leeds can absolutely have a field day. And I feel with the left-hand side in particular of Watford, it's looking incredibly weak. Incredibly weak at this moment in time. I don't even know if they have a left-sided player, a fully-fledged left-sided player. I think it's time for Nonto, everybody. Or it's time for Dan James on that right, Willie in the middle, maybe Brendan to have a little bit of a rest and we keep Ramazani on that left-hand side. I've been hearing a lot of people saying... If Solomon's fit, Solomon goes straight back in. Not for me. He is fourth choice. 100% going into this right now. I'd like to see Dan James feature a little bit more at championship level. We all know how good this kid is. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really sort of happy with what's going on right now. And the tactical flexibility, Daniel Farker can imprint on this side. But the confidence, the morale, the mentality right now, especially with the weakness that we thought we had in central midfield, which in fact isn't a weakness, is in fact the most positive thing we've seen this season in terms of directness, being positive, going through the midfield um, for, for, for attacks and, and the defensive display of the midfield and them having that invisible rope between them both. They're that sort of like good and 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 and, and synergized. Is synergized the word? Cohesive is probably a better word. Um, but yeah, so I think we can really take advantage of Watford's low morale and squad issues at this moment in time. And I think on the road, you know, we, we've seen this side now in three of their last three away games. Guys, we've seen them concede 10 goals. 4-1 Watford. 3-0 
uh, against Preston and 3-0 against Luton Town. What we're talking about here, this is going to be big for Leeds to potentially even get the goal difference up. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult than we think, but there is potential. They are not good on the road, especially with, I think, Ogbonna is going to be out for this one. Um, their struggles in attack away from home is another thing that we need to focus on with Watford. As I've just mentioned, one goal in the last three away from home and conceding 10 the inability at the final third with Bayer up front in particular, it feels like Watford are going to go to a back five tonight. Again, as we're expecting a lot of teams to do against Leeds United, they go to a back five tonight. Hopefully Leeds have many, many options in terms of variance on what we can do. A little bit of pragmatism, you can go with a front two if you want to take Brendan Aronson out and put Joel Peru in there. We saw to the back end of the game against Sheffield United, against one of the best defences in the league. Six clean sheets, by the way, that with two of them, Pinning the centre-backs back, that enables Leeds United to create a little bit more space when they're in a low to mid block. And finally, everybody, the home advantage for Leeds, for me, is going to be massive. I'm hoping I can't get there tonight. I try to get tickets, can't get there. However, the home advantage is absolutely massive for Leeds United right now. We are on... I think we're in a point right now after Burnley that was annoying because it's like that home record that we've got over the past year and a bit has just been unequivocally good, ridiculously good. And I think right now we want to build that up again. But the beautiful thing about Leeds is because we're so ferocious on that counter-attack and we have so many options away from home, we're going to be very, very good and teams are going to come at us a little bit more. So I'm not scared about your Bristol Cities, your Plymouths, etc., your Millwalls, because Leeds are going to be able to... Ri I don't actually know if teams are going to sit back against us, but presumably at home where team teams, especially who are relegated, re relegation threatened and even towards the top of the table, need to get results, I feel that they're going, to, they're going to come at us when they're at home, which plays into Leeds' advantage massively as we've seen so far this season. But at home it's massive and especially if teams are holding back they are consistently just sitting back against us with a back five back six back seven back eight whatever and we're then able to get through them and get through them consistently as you saw with Coventry as you've seen with Sheffield United you know maybe if we're able to do that weren't able to do it against Burnley but you know that hopefully is just a bit of an anomaly a bit of an outlier if we're able to do that consistently that's going to be a huge problem for teams coming to Ellen Road because they're coming to Ellen Road to sit but if we break through them, they're going to have to come out. And when they come out, they're going to get absolutely battered like a cod. So, yeah, I'm at this moment in time, everybody, really happy with what I'm seeing. Really happy with the op options that Daniel Farker has. Literally, nothing came out the other day in his press conference where I was thinking, uh, you know, he was speaking a little bit about Joe Rothwell, a little bit of Patrick Bamford, but I don't want to get into that too much. I think he's downplaying Joe Rothwell at this moment in time. To keep his feet on the ground, I'm giving him a bit of credit there, but because you know, listen, Joe Rothwell's been unbelievable, and Daniel Farquhar will know that as well. Uh, but conclusively, I feel Leeds are really the favourites tonight. And if we're able to beat another side in the top 10, of which I, I really pose the question can Leeds start to do this? Because we hadn't done that so far, we hadn't done that before Sheffield United. If we can start to do that now and we can beat Watford as well, that's two teams in the top eight in a week. That's big for Leeds. That is big for Leeds. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Sign up to Snapchat. One Leeds is all you have to put in. and We'll have bonus bits on a, on a trip we're going on very, very soon. Also, make sure you join the Patreon so you can be part of the WhatsApp exclusive group of which I'm on there constantly. And we can have a little bit more chats. It's probably a little bit more interactive than YouTubes and all this sort of stuff. Um, make sure you do that, everybody. Make sure you're checking out football prizes. Of course, they've got a new prize. Link in the description below. We are sponsored by IPM Group UK. Keep all your security, all your surveillance purchases in the Leeds United space. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. See you in a bit.